Okay, first things first, you're going to need to have your motion tile enabled. And then go ahead and tap the R on your keyboard. That will bring up rotation for you. And then tap the little stopwatch at the very beginning. And then go to the end of your clip. And then change the degrees to 90 like I'm doing. Now go ahead and select your keyframes by holding down on your mouse and then just dragging over them. And then right click on one of your keyframes. I accidentally messed up. And then select keyframe assistant and then easy ease. Now tap the little graph and then just copy the graph I'm doing and then tap on the graph and in order to copy the graph that I'm doing. Like so. Um, yours is obviously gonna be a little bit slower. My clips were very long. So um, yeah. I had to make fast crafts because my clips were so long. Now, just do the exact same thing on your second photo. Um, I'm adjusting the graph right here in this part because I wasn't a huge fan of how it was looking. Um, yeah. Now go ahead and go into your other clip and tap the R on your keyboard again and then hit the little stopwatch. And then this time make it negative 90 degrees. Now, after you're done with that, go ahead and go to the end of your clip and then just make it zero degrees. You don't need to tap the stopwatch again. Just go ahead and make that negative 90 zero degrees. I just reset it. Then I selected my keyframes like I did before. I right clicked and then I easy eased my keyframes. And then I went to my graph, I tapped it, and then I made an out graph. You guys can obviously copy my graphs if you want. These are really fast graphs though. So if you would like slower graphs, just go ahead and pull the little dots further apart. And yeah, this is the ending of the spin transition. Okay, right now I'm just adding on my motion tile for both of my clips. So make sure to do the same for yours. I'm just using a preset that I made for my motion tile just so it's a little bit easier for me to add on. So I don't have to redo all the settings. So if you're curious of what I was doing, that's what I was doing. Just add your motion tile on and just make the output width and height 250 and then select mirror edges. I specifically like mine 300, but I feel 250 is better for like beginners. So yeah, now what you want to do is go ahead and tap S on your keyboard and then tap the little stopwatch and then go to the end of your clip and zoom it in. You can increase the amount as much as you want. Now go ahead and drag over your clips, which is selecting them and then selecting keyframe assistant and then easy ease. Now go ahead and just copy this graph that I'm doing, or you can make yours a little bit slower. It depends on how long your clips are. It depends on what you want. So as you can see, I'm adjusting it a little bit here to my liking. Now that I'm a fan of the graph, I go ahead and I just tap S on my keyboard again, and then I tap the stopwatch again, and then I zoom it out a little bit. So I decrease the amount from the first time like this. And then I go to the end of my clip. I um, right click and then I hit reset. I select my keyframes and then I easy ease them. I tap on my graph and then I do my out graph. Also, I forgot to mention, make sure motion blur is enabled. And you guys can just go ahead and copy my graph. And yeah, this is the zoom, zoom in transition, my bad. It's the zoom in transition. Okay, for this transition, you're gonna wanna make sure you have motion blur enabled and add on your motion tile to both of your photos. That's what I'm doing here. Again, I made a preset, so it's a little bit easier for me and a little bit quicker for me to add on my motion tile. So that's what I'm doing right now. Now go ahead and tap P on your keyboard for position and then add a little keyframe with the stopwatch. Go to the end of your clip and then you can just slide it any way you want to. Personally, I slid, I slid it to the right. And then once I was done sliding it to my liking, I selected my keyframes, I right clicked, Key from assistant, easy ease. Then I did my in graph. Then I went to the bottom and selected X and Y right at the bottom. And then I clicked off and then I selected X. Then I tapped on my graph and that's how I did my in graph. Now since you are sliding it to the side and not up and down, it will you want you will want to select X, but if you do decide to slide it up and down, you will select Y. Now you can go ahead and just copy the graph I'm doing here. Once again, I make my graphs a lot quicker than they need to be just because these clips were so long. So yeah, that's this is just me adjusting my graph like usual. <laughs> Hmm. 
Here I am just adding all my motion tiles to my photo since I forgot to at the very beginning of this. I know, it's kind of dumb of me. Whatever. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap P on my keyboard. I'm going to tap the stopwatch and then I'm just going to slide it the opposite way I did the first time. So as you can see, I'm sliding it this way instead. Then I'm going to go to the end of my clip and I'm just going to right click and hit reset so I don't have to drag it all the way back. But if you don't feel like looking for the reset button, you don't have to. You could just um, drag it all the way back. Now go ahead and select your keyframes like this. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and then do your out graph. You want to do that thing with the XY again. So tap XY, click off and then select X, and then just go ahead and do your out graph on the X graph the way I'm doing. Once again, if you wanted a slower transition, you could always pull the little graph, like that thingies apart for a slower transition. And yeah, this was the slide transition. Obviously mine is in great quality. That's because I'm doing this in 30 frames per second. But once you export it in 60 frames per second and add on your motion blur, it will look normal. And yeah, that was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And comment down below any tutorial requests you guys may have. We are very close to 36k, so thank you guys so much. I can't believe how much I grew the, over this summer. That just means so much. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to Vivian Shea for mentioning my video in her video. My how to use a light motion for beginners video. That was very shocking. So thank you. She's literally one of my favorite editors, so that meant so much to me. And yeah, thank you guys for all the support and love too. I'm honestly shocked at how much I'm getting. It means so much. And yeah, if you want to follow my Instagram, it is gray.amp. TikTok is just Jocelyn's edits. Once again, all my socials, well, not once again, but you know what I mean. Like all my socials are down in the description box below and in the outro of this video. So yeah, I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.